Okay, first let's set up our working space. And we're just going to be putting your plastic cover or whatever it is that you're going to use to catch your paint. Let's open up our canvas. There we go. We are going to use four cups so that we can lift our canvas from the surface so that it doesn't stick to the plastic once the acrylic paint is done. So we'll use that. Then we will need four cups, okay? We are going to be doing this technique that is called a dirty pour, which is basically just pouring all your paints into one cup and then pouring those paints on top of your canvas. So I forgot that we needed an extra cup because this is where we are going to be pouring or mixing our pouring medium with water. So we're going to be mixing our glue with some water. And then once we have that mixture, you are going to be mixing this with your acrylic paints in each of their individual cups. So you'll need five cups rather than four. Now we will need 60% glue and 40% water. This is a three fluid ounce. So um, if we add two ounces, that would make it a 60 to 40 ratio, okay? So we'll have five ounces in total. Three of those will be glue and two will be water. Now that's just some math that I did. If you find another type of glue that has a different amount of fluid ounces, then just kind of go by it with your eye. And I know this cup kind of goes upwards, um, but you could use a measuring cup if you have one at home, or uh, you can just, you know, kind of eyeball it and, you know, put 60% of your cup with glue and 40% with water. So let's just pour this whole thing into our cup. We want to make sure that we get everything out and then I'll use this same container to measure our water. So uh, because this is three ounces, I'll just kind of divide it into three parts. And when I fill it up, I'll fill it up maybe to there, um, just, you know, eyeballing it. Obviously this would be easier if you had a scale on hand or measuring cups, but um, since we're trying to do this on the cheap and we're not really using uh, quality materials, then I'm not too worried about not getting the exact ratios. But feel free to use whatever you want. If you have a measuring cup at home or a scale, a food scale, you can use that to measure your glue, your water, and your paints. Okay, now we're gonna add water. In Okay, let's shake it, make sure that all the remaining glue that was in there can come out with our water. And let's pour that in. Now you can keep this, um, this bottle and you can pour your pouring medium right back in so that you have so that you can save it like if you have some extra left you can just use that for your next painting now why do you need a pouring medium well your acrylic paints are going to be too thick to make them move around your canvas so you need something, and in this case, we call it a pouring medium because that will make your paints uh, more fluid and that fluidity will make your paints move around on your canvas rather than just being on a clump, just sitting on top of your canvas. 
So now that we have this nicely mixed, you can see that it is pretty runny. Um, it's not as runny as water, but it is pretty close. It's like a milky water. Okay, now I'm gonna use, I'm gonna pour this here just so we can have it for later because we're not gonna be using it all. Oh, there we go. And we have some leftover in our cup. There we go. So now let's start mixing our colors into our cups. Let's start with the white. Now you're, for the acrylic mixture, for the acrylic paint mixture, you're going to be using about two parts of this to one part of paint. So that means that, and we're just gonna be eyeballing it here too. Um, we're just gonna add some into our cup. Okay, as you can see, I've just added there that much. And um, let's just add double of that. So maybe to there. That's just kind of a rough idea. Okay, now we are going to mix this paint. Have that ready. Now let's do our green paint. Let's add about that same amount as we did with the blue. And also maybe about there, we'll add our pouring medium. We don't have much left here in our cup, so we'll just use the one that we poured right here. Oh, I didn't cut that. Okay, let's just take the cap off and pour it like that. There we go. Oh, that's the dirty one. And now your white paint. I was only able to find this brand rather than getting the same brand. If you can find white in this brand, just go ahead and get that. I just um, couldn't find it at the moment when I got these. They were out of the white one, so I had to get this other one, which was also available there. It's just a different brand. And, and I've used this for other paintings, so I've actually ran out of this one. Okay, so let's see how much white we put in here. So let's add maybe there. There we go. Now this is way more paint that you, than you'll need for this canvas. However, um, you can store this paint for another painting. So if you've got another piece of canvas, you can use that for your second painting, or you can just cover these cups with some aluminum foil and uh, save the paint for later. Now I still have a little bit of our pouring medium left in here. So you can make another batch of color. Um, we'll use that for later for another painting. Okay, let's get started with our painting. Okay, you're going to get your cup and I suggest you start adding some of the white paint into your cup before you add any of the other colors. And you're just going to be layering them as you wish, which is the very fun part because you never know what you're going to get 
in the end. It all depends on how you layer your colors, what colors you put first, what colors you put last, uh, which colors mix with which. So it's actually a very, very fun painting technique that I'm sure you will enjoy. So now I'm adding some blue. Let's see, can you see this? There. I'm just pouring the colors in, okay? No particular way, no particular order. Um, if you followed the rules that I told you in the beginning about choosing your colors, then you should be fine. There's no need to worry about how you're pouring your colors into each other. Um, you shouldn't be afraid that your painting is going to look bad. More white. Let's add blue. And since this is way too much paint for this, I think that's enough. That's maybe like less than half a cup. This is a seven fluid ounce cup, just so you can get an idea of um, how big my cup is. So there we go. Now, what you're gonna do is, you're going to get your canvas, you're going to flip it on top of your cup, okay? And then you're gonna flip it over. One, two, three. Let's set it here. And now the fun part comes. You're just gonna lift your cup and release all the paint onto your canvas. And let's see what type of design we get here. One, two, three, here we go. Wow, beautiful. Now, I'm just putting the remainder paint here on the sides. You don't have to do that. I'm just um, putting it so the paint flows easier when I flip or turn, when I tilt my canvas. But if you have enough paint in the middle, you shouldn't worry about the paint not getting to the corners, to the edges. Okay, now we are going to start tilting so that this paint can cover the whole surface area. And look at how beautiful. Now let's go that way. Let's go this way. And now let's go that way. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that beauty. Now you can just use some of this remaining paint that is here on your plastic to cover these bare spots that you have left on your canvas. Because I'm pretty sure you have some bare spots. So just Dab a little with your fingers. Awesome. Now it is just time for you to let it sit and let it dry for a few days. And once it is completely dry, then we're going to be adding a coat of Mod Podge on the surface so that our painting can look a little bit more shiny and our colors can pop and protect our surface. 